Hey guys, Mike Skillen from Motor Cars coming at you today with an addition on the Entune Premium Audio System. I want to go over everything that this has to offer, everything that you're going to get in it, the total customization you get on your car, and all the apps that come with it. Stay tuned. All right guys, so first off, we're gonna be taking a look at the programs itself inside it. So I've already went ahead and pre-installed the applications that you get on the screen when you do have the premium audio system with the Entune app suite. So we're gonna be taking a look at in depth on each one, what everything is on it. We're gonna go into vehicle customization and how to pair your smartphone to the device. That way we have everything working and syncing up to your phone. Let's do that first, shall we? All right guys, so first off we have the home screen here. We're gonna be taking a look at this and working basically right from here, working off of this layout. So if you ever wanna go into the settings on the Entune system, it's actually gonna be the cogs up in the upper right hand corner uh, through this premium audio screen. So hit that button. We're gonna be pairing the smartphone up now. So we're just gonna hit Bluetooth. We're gonna hit add device. We're then gonna go into our phone open up our Bluetooth settings in our phone, and we're gonna search for a device. Now, Avalon's gonna pop up there, so that's gonna be one we select. As soon as we do that, you're gonna see right here on the screen, it's gonna pop up with a little thing that says, pairings was successful, so awesome. All the pairing was successful. You're gonna get a couple of notifications depending on which phone you have, basically asking if you wanna have the messages go up on the screen, if you want your contacts and your phone logs to be added into the Entune system. So go ahead and answer yes or no, depending on what you want. So now that everything is connected, we're gonna go into what everything is and how it works. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do after taking a look at the setup here, taking a look at pairing our phone, we're actually gonna go right back into the settings and I'm just gonna cycle through everything for you because it is incredibly important that you get everything the exact way that you want it so that you can have your vehicle adapt to the way that you want it to be set up. Here's how we do it. All right, first off guys, we're gonna be jumping into the general settings here. We have the system time. We can actually adjust the time depending on the time zone that you're in. You can select it, change the different time zone. You can have it automatically set through daylight savings time, automatically revert back or go forward, whatever it is, fall back, uh, spring forward. It will actually do that for you if you have everything synced up correctly. Now you can change the miles to the uh, metric units if you really want to. Um, if you're going to Canada or if you're going down to Mexico, you change the, the language there. You can change the weather temperature units if you wanted to. Now, if you're doing this, you can hear that audible beep. You can actually turn that off right there. So now you don't hear anything. It's actually kind of a little bit better. I'm gonna keep it off for the sake of the video just so that you guys can see everything. You can even change the layout color, which is kind of cool. I like the different colors, but I usually stick with this uh, or the clear water, just depending on which way you guys want. Now, keyboard layout is kind of important for people that aren't used to typing on a normal keyboard. If you want it to be alphabetical, you can change it to an alphabetical layout, um, but it, that is completely up to you. So going back into this, this, is incredibly important for us in the winter. We have gloves on. You can't always touch everywhere you want to. So this is actually right now, I've set it to be the most sensitive, um, but you have different sensitivities. So if you have it a less sensitive, you have to press a little bit more just to get that tactile feedback um, and get it to press. I like to keep it on the maximum sensitivity. That way I can just run through everything real quick. Auto change the home screen is pretty cool. I believe it's a 10 to 20 second delay, but if you have that set up, you're going into audio, you put your audio where you want it. If you don't have anything for about 10 to 20 seconds, it's actually gonna revert back to the home screen so it shows you that three out layout display. Um, but that's definitely dependent on what you want. I like keeping it so that it doesn't automatically change back, but that is completely up to you and how you want it. This one right here is incredibly cool. So you can actually customize your screen off image. So right now, if you turn off your, your screen, you got nothing, you just got a black screen. However, you can actually upload through the USB uh, output or input down here underneath. You can actually differ the image that will be displayed, but it's up to you. If you're not gonna ever turn your screen off, I wouldn't even worry about it. 
So you can go through and delete your personal data. Now, this is incredibly important when you are planning on trading the vehicle in because you don't wanna have your personal information on it. You want it all to be wiped out and all be deleted for you. Software update. You can go in, you can check the update history or you can check for an update itself. Now, it'll actually let you know if there's an update available. You can update the software right from there. Super simple, super easy. Last thing, race note database. This is really, really cool. So when you're listening to audio, it'll actually pull up on the screen the album artwork of the artist that you're listening to. Really cool, great feature, love it. That's actually gonna wrap up the general settings. Off to the next one. All right guys, so the next thing that we're going to go into is actually the voice activated feature. So this is incredibly important. I actually instruct all of my customers to go through these prompts, make sure you know everything that you're gonna be doing here, and make sure you actually customize it to your voice. Everybody speaks a little bit differently, has a little bit different tone, a little bit different dialect. You wanna make sure it's actually adapted to the way you're gonna be speaking to it, because right now it's on a general trying to understand everybody. Take a look at this, it's gonna be very important. So go into voice, you're gonna be actually going in through here. So you have voice volume, that's gonna be the volume that you're uh, getting feedback from. The automatic navigation guidance is gonna be uh, basically having the ability of going through the navigation prompts through that voice activated feature. Now, like I said, this is one of the most important things. You want to, want to, want to go through the train voice recognition. It's gonna give you 10 phrases that you're gonna have to repeat back to it. That way it knows exactly how you're saying, what you're saying, and what you're actually trying to do to get out of it. Last, but certainly not least, on this one, the most important stuff I just wanna go over, hit the points on, the voice prompt interrupt. Once you get used to all the prompts that you can go through, make sure you select that, because if not, you're gonna have to wait for it to read out every single type of command that you can get for it right off the bat. So if you already know everything, you're actually just gonna go ahead and select that now so that if you hit this button, oh, that's going through. So if you, so the first time you hit the voice activation button, it's actually gonna tell you basically to go through the tutorials and go through the voice training. Um, but for right now, I'm just gonna how go straight through it. You? So now I have it set up so that it can just say, how may I help you instead of going, how may I help you? List of commands, list apps, search a web search or start a web search, tune to preset to. It's gonna be very, 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 <laughs> and now Sorry. it's, yeah. Didn't understand what I was saying because I was saying quite a lot there, but we're not gonna go into it. So going down to the last little bit, voice recognition web search. Um, this is actually kind of cool. You can do whatever you want. You can actually have it search well, Yelp or a destination search. So I just keep it on destination search because I don't usually go on Yelp. If you go on Yelp, go through it, do everything. Also, do the tutorial, guys. It's very important. It has a lot of information in it. All right, guys, next key point in this Entune audio system, you're gonna be going through the display settings. Now, this is gonna be for any audio system um, that you get through Toyota. Uh, the general is actually going to be the screen, brightness on contrast. You're gonna be able to adjust these settings just because if you want it a little bit brighter, you can actually do it through this screen. Want it to contrast a little bit more so that you can see things a little bit more vividly, do it through there. Same thing with the backup camera. You can adjust everything in there to make sure that you've got it tuned the way that you want it and the way that you wanna see it. All right, guys, next up, we're going back through the Bluetooth. So I just wanna show you a couple of things right here uh, before we move on. You can actually change the name of your device. So if you wanted to name it, uh, Mike's Avalon, you can name it Mike's Avalon. You could reset the pin if you want. You can actually def uh, display the phone status. Right now I have Bluetooth power on so that shows me how much battery life I got left. Kind of cool there. And then supported audio devices. Um, now that's gonna be something that you don't have to play with. It's just letting you know what everything is supported. So let's take a look at actually going in through the phone settings. All right guys, now, so going in through the phone settings, just select that phone. Right now we have a phone connected, so we don't have to connect that. Sound settings, you can actually adjust the ringtone that's coming back, the ringtone volume, the message readout volume. So when you hit it for uh, messages and to read out a message, it's gonna have a different volume depending on what you've actually selected. You can select a different SMS, so basically your messages that are coming in, have it have a different tone instead of the, uh, the standard tone there volume on that as well and email tone you can actually have it adjusted to a different email it'll alert you when emails are coming in super cool super awesome 
and if you wanted to actually have it set to the ringtone on your phone, depending on what it is, you can actually have that selected. Next up, we have the contact and call history settings. Now this is important. Sometimes for some reason, if you update your, your device and you're not seeing it pop up right away, you can actually go into this display. You can actually hit update contacts. It's actually gonna update all your contacts in real time so it doesn't have to refresh every time. Um, it's gonna do all that for you. You can have it sort by last name, first name, you can add favorites down here. I'll show you an easier way to actually add the favorites. Phone display settings. So you're actually gonna be going in here to take a look when you have the incoming call. Right now it's set to full screen. I don't actually like this, especially if you're going through navigation, you actually have to accept or decline the phone call and sometimes you just wanna let it go straight to voicemail. Um, go through that, you can just have it be a drop down. So it'll just drop down, just be a tiny little box up here. You can still see your navigation, still see where you're going. It's a lot more usable, I believe. I recommend selecting that and having that be there. Contact history transfer status. You can actually have that selected so that it'll let you know when it's updating your contacts so that you have them up to date all the time. Really cool. Also recommend having that feature checked. Next up guys, we're gonna go through the audio settings. So right now we have the number of presets set as 36. You can select 36, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, depending on what you want, depending on how many audio presets you have. I actually select lower because I don't have 36 stations that I listen to. Right now it's set to display the album artwork and the sound levelizer is kind of cool. When you're driving, the road noise and everything, as more, as you get up in speed, it's gonna actually increase the volume of the radio so that you can still hear it while you're cruising at 60 miles an hour. Now these cars are incredibly quiet, so I actually keep mine on low, but it's still gonna give you that little bit of frequency offset. That way you can hear everything that's going on in your radio. All right guys, lastly on this screen, going in through the navigation screen, you can set your uh, preset destinations, you can download your address book, areas to avoid if you don't want to go in a certain neighborhood you can set it to avoid those neighborhoods detail navy settings that one's kind of cool go through those you can calibrate it differently favorite poi categories pop-up information uh guidance on verified rows it'll let you know what's going on that one's kind of cool um to going through that so that's how you figure out everything in there. That's how you set your preset addresses that you want and go through everything in the navigation. That's gonna be your home point there when you first get your car. All right guys, so that finishes up the first page here. Now, while we switch screens, I actually wanted to show you something kind of cool. I've been using the arrows just to use the arrows because I wanted this to be more of a surprise type thing. So take a look at this, like a smartphone. You can just swipe through the screen. You don't actually have to hit the arrows. That's just dependent on your personal uh, preference there. But we have the Entune system paired up. So I want you to do that. Take a look at that. So it's actually gonna warn you that you're using the Entune system and that you're using data. Now, if you don't want it to warn you every time, you can just select this, have it be never display again, or every time you select an Entune app, just to let you know, hey, you're gonna be using data here, just in case you don't have unlimited data. It's sometimes nice to have, depending on everything that you want. Since I have Sprint, since I have unlimited data, I just hit never display again, but it's totally dependent on your carrier and what kind of programs you have set up. All right, guys, next one, HD data. This one's kind of cool. Right now I have it to download the HD data from when we're in HD radio and from my mobile device. Now you can actually select it so that's only when you're in HD data. So that's going to be your weather updates and your traffic updates. It's gonna alert you uh, when your traffic coming up or the weather. So that's what the HD updates are gonna do. So depending on what you want, just select what's gonna be most preferable for you. All right guys, next one, driver. This is incredibly cool. So we all know we're not always the ones driving the car now, my wife might be driving the car, so if she gets in here, I'm actually gonna hit driver. Now, it's going to actually put all of the stuff that I have programmed in to my phone, so that when my phone's connected, it's gonna have all the radio presets, all the button colors, the languages, and everything actually stored into the device, so that when I pull it up, all my stuff's there. When my wife gets in the car and she, her phone's paired up, all her stuff's in there so we don't have to tweak it back and forth or have it be one general preference. This one's really cool. I recommend this for multiple users. 
All right, guys, so the next one is really, really cool. This is actually the vehicle customization page. Hit vehicle, vehicle customization. First key point here, vehicle lock settings. So I actually like to keep these two checked. Automatically lock when you shift into park and automatically unlock when you shift into park, but you can make it different. Um, the next important thing here is select doors to unlock. You can actually select it so that when you press that remote once, it's actually gonna unlock all the doors for you instead of just the one. Um, auto relock, this is really cool. If you accidentally hit the unlock button and you never get in the doors, it's gonna relock your car for you in 60 seconds just so that nobody jumps in your car and steals some stuff from you. It's gonna have the lock, unlock, feedback lights and the tone right now. You can turn that off, keep it on, depending on what you want. Next settings here is the climate control setting. So right now we have it set to low with one fan speed. It's gonna automatically turn on the AC if it's not in the lowest possible temperature in the car, which I believe is 60 degrees. Light settings, this one's cool. Headlamp on sensitivity. This is for the auto switch to automatically turn your lights on for you. This is the sensitivity in which it's going to do that. Now the headlights auto off feature. When you turn off your car, your lights are gonna stay on. Don't be alarmed, it's a safety feature so that it's gonna let you know where you're going, especially if it's dark, it's gonna keep the lights on for you. If you want them to turn off, just press your lock button twice, it'll turn the lights off for you. Or you could just adjust it right there. Daytime running lights automatically on right now if they're not in the daytime running light off option on your switch over here. Interior light auto off feature and exterior lights off timer, same exact thing as before. Other vehicle settings. This one is up to personal preference. Some vehicles don't have this, but the ones that have the memory seating usually will have the driver's easy exit. So it's really dependent on what you want. So when I turn off the car, it's actually gonna move my seat back for me to allow me to get out a lot easier. Now it moves back quite a bit right now. And if you're short like me, I don't like it being full because when I'm trying to turn the car back on, I feel myself having to reach way down in there just to hit the brake pedal because you do need to press the brake and the start button at the same time. So I like to actually have it set to partial, completely up to you and what you want. That's just how I like it. All right guys, that wraps up the settings portion. Next, we're going to be diving into the Entune apps, what you get and how you use them. All right guys, so next up, we're going to be going into the apps screen going in through everything in here uh, now this is really cool not everything is going to be right at your fingertips on the front screen there's actually three different screens worth of stuff here and instead of scrolling through everything just to find what you want toyota has made it very very simple for you hit the reorder button right here and then select an app and use the arrow buttons to move an application so if you want setup to be near the front just hit these arrow buttons and just move it to the front wherever you want it to be really if you want it to be there there so just going through everything real quick you have your navigation you have your audios uh, which that's also a little shortcut for it in the avalon phone messages to actually go through the messages on your phone while you're driving to have quick access to those eco tell you what your car is doing when it's doing it the miles per gallon and everything that you're getting there uh, setup so that's exactly where we were before that's that setup screen traffic's going to give you traffic alerts through the hd radio system they look like this they're going to let you know hey if this is where you're going this is where the traffic's going to be a little bit hairy <clears throat> weather can show current weather but since we're underneath right now it's actually going to be a little hard to get the update um let's see oh, i gave it right away perfect current weather right now beautiful in cleveland heights ohio let me tell you the humidity though it's a little brutal if i might be honest i don't like humidity at all i like it zero maintenance this is kind of cool so you can actually go through and you can set reminders for yourself on everything with the uh entune premium system it'll actually have all these different apps that you can go through and select when everything needs done or you can have your technician do it for you you can set a dealer so that you can actually call the dealership when you need service done to automatically have that service appointment put in there for you. Destination search, that's pretty cool. You could actually use it through the voice activation feature. iHeartRadio, you actually have to connect your iHeartRadio application uh, and your account 
to your Entune system through your phone in order to use it. Same with movie tickets, Open Table, Pandora, and Facebook. Uh, anything else over here? Yelp you need to connect to, Socks Fuel Guide, um, and Sports, that's all gonna come in. Slacker, that you also need to pair uh, to your account. So, one of the really cool things with these features is you can actually select it. So if I wanna listen to Pandora, it's gonna pull up the Pandora screen, let you know that, hey, you're gonna be using some uh, some phone data. It's gonna pull up all your stations. Hopefully it's not gonna blast you with music. It's gonna pull up all your stations for you. But the really cool part is you're gonna actually be able to go into it, create a station or edit a station right from your screen. You don't have to pull out your phone, start messing with your phone as you're trying to drive. It's gonna have everything right there for you. It's gonna be really nice and really cool. So going back into apps, um, just one more thing, when you're going through everything and you have your saved destinations, this is the easiest way to go through it. If you have them saved on your phone already, if you were using uh, uh, Google Maps, you can actually download them to your phone or to your, uh, your audio system here through your entertainment center and actually have it so that you have easier presets through your navigation system. It's really cool, it's very helpful. Definitely, definitely recommend that. Um, so that's about it for the applications that you get. A lot of apps, a lot of cool stuff to go to. Now, one of the really, really, really cool things, if you're in an area that you don't necessarily know and you're low on gas, hit the fuel guide and you can actually, bad communication, try again. Sorry, we're in a garage right now. We can't really get a, a, a signal. Um, but if you were outside, had access to it, it's actually gonna pull up a list of the fuel stations near you and you could sort it by whatever you like, by nearest, by cheapest, and you could actually set the navigation to be routed to that gas station so that you can get the gas in a spot that you're not familiar with. It's really cool. Next thing I wanna go into, guys, is the navigation just real, real quick. So, navigation. So, here's the layout of the screen, the way I like it most. Now, this isn't exactly how it comes up as the standard view. The standard view is actually this one right here where it's always gonna orient the screen as north. Always gonna be pointed north, up is always north. So the way I like it is the way that I just showed you is it's actually going to orient the screen the way you're driving. Now the one before this was actually the 2D view, just straight bird's eye view. I like this one a little bit better. It's like a camera back behind you, kind of more of a 3D view. See a little bit easier, a little bit nicer. If you wanna move the screen around, you can actually go to different areas if you want to get navigation to certain parts, go, boom, hit enter, and it'll actually take you there. Now, if you're getting lost, if you don't know exactly where you're at, just hit that button, it'll direct you right back. Now, you can move out a little bit so you can see a little bit more, or zoom back in just so that you can see what's going on. You have all the way up to 250 miles of range, which is crazy. If you have to hit a destination, you can go by address, by points of interest, by previous destinations by your address book or by web search that's kind of cool you can actually do it through the voice activation as i said before do it by emergency so if you need any emergency services go go through there by an intersection freeway by the map itself or by coordinates or you could preset some options down here you have up to six including the home as preset options there really really cool my favorite is when you're not in an area that you know, which usually when you're using your navigation screen, it's somewhere you're not familiar with, hit the point of interest button. You can search out fuel stations, uh, restaurants, bowling alleys, entertainment, movie theater, anything you really want to search, it's all gonna be right in here. You can buy near here, near a city, whatever you want, dining, shopping, automotive, travel and logging, like lodging all this really cool stuff you actually have more than this but that's all that they show you look at this this is this is this is everything that you have all of all of this is stuff that you actually have to go through it's crazy so i mean that's searching everything so you don't have to search everything it's kind of daunting and going through everything is kind of crazy but that's the navigation system a lot of stuff to go through there but definitely check it out, go through it, make sure you familiarize yourself with everything and how it works. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in for the Entune Premium Audio 
uh, with Navigation Spotlight. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'd be more than happy to get you any information that you need on the Entune system or on the vehicles in general. Now, if I did not show you something that you need to know how to use, let me know. I'd be more than happy to try to go out to a vehicle that best suits what you're looking for and do a video on that as well. Guys, if you liked the video, make sure you hit a thumbs up for me. And if you like it so much, you wanna share it, make sure you share it with your friends. Let them know everything, how it works. If you wanna teach them, show them some stuff, make sure you hit that share button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to see all the videos that I'm gonna be uploading on how Toyotas work, the Toyota products, the Toyota updates, and everything regarding Toyota and Motor Cars Toyota here in Cleveland Heights. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. You guys have a great day.